Hello everyone, this is Tatiana and welcome to my channel. If you haven't done so yet, then make sure to subscribe and ring the bell in order not to miss out on one of these fun videos. My client is back for her refill. Her prior coating has held on nicely and looks great, however that yellowing you see is from smoking. This can be avoided by periodically buffing the top coat and then if needed just touched up with a typical glossy nail polish. Also, there are top coats out there that are especially made so that they won't yellow depending on their surroundings, and today would be a great time to test one of them out. So I'm getting straight to work by taking my nail gel and removing the prior coating. I'm also taking down some of the grown out length. I've taken the coating down to a very thin backing and further I'm filing down her nails with my nail file. I'm also rounding out the edges a little bit and filing on top for adhesion of the new material. Now for a cleanup. My client's cuticle is quite dense and hardened. And usually for cuticles like this, I use a nail bit with rougher abrasion. However, for this client, I will still be using my nail bit with red abrasion, as this nail bit right here does a really good job of cleaning up. After cutting off the dry cuticle, I'm switching back to my nail drill using the same flame bit and buffing everything up in order to avoid future hangnails. I've dehydrated her nails, applied an acidic primer, and now I'm taking a rubber base coat from a Russian company called Rock Nails. So I'm applying the base and letting each nail cure underneath the lamp one at a time. And now for our color. Today we'll be using these three beautiful colors here, a bluish white, a very light lilac, and this pretty pink. I decided to go over her nails in a second layer, mainly because I always do a second layer, though these polishes are amazing and didn't leave any streaks behind with only one layer. I've let her nails carry and now I'm taking my little palette and adding each one of those colors. I'm also adding a little white and black. I'm mixing all of those together with a very thin brush and coating her nails in a top coat where I'll be creating our design. Then once I've placed all of those beautiful colors on with my brush, I'm taking a straw and blowing through it right onto our colors. This gives them a softer airbrush effect that I think is just so pretty.
After letting them cure underneath the lamp, I'm removing any stickiness, slightly buffing, and then with a black gel paint, I'm creating some small decorative details to bring this marble look together. I'm letting that cure underneath the lamp for about 30 seconds, and then I'm taking this beautiful silver chrome powder and going over our design. I was inspired to create this design after seeing this gorgeous set of cups off of Instagram. I just loved the combination of soft pastels and sulfur. We decided to test two different finishes today that help avoid yellowing. This way we'll be able to see which one works better on her nails and maybe they'll both work great. And here they are. I think they turned out so pretty and I absolutely love these colors for spring. If you liked this video and found it helpful, then please give it a big thumbs up and until next time.